today, I'm going to show you how to set up an audio interface. For this example, I'm going to use the Audio Control 1 from Native Instruments. It's two channels in and four channels out. If you're using your audio interface for the first time, you may need to download and install driver software. Use a dedicated USB connection for the audio interface. If you're using a USB hub, make sure it's on a separate USB port on the computer. You may want to use your audio interface for DJ software. In this application, we're going to use channels 1 and 2 as the master out to the club, or a mixer. Here we're going to connect the RCAs to channel 1 and 2 on the back of the card. And on the front, we're going to route channels 3 and 4 to the headphones. And we're going to use the headphone volume adjust to change the monitor volume. Open the Tractor Preferences pane, select your audio interface. For the output routing, we'll select the first two channels as the master, and the second pair will go to monitor. Those are the headphones. You may also want to add an instrument or a microphone to your setup. Let's connect the mic to channel 1 in. Set the line level to mic. You can adjust the volume just above that. And most cards will also have a 48 volt phantom power switch for condenser microphones. Go to Tractor Preferences, Input Routing. Let's go ahead and connect this mic to Deck D. We only have one channel because microphones are mono. Let's set this to a live input, and there we have our audio. Alright, let's go ahead and connect a speaker. We'll start by connecting channel 1 through an RCA cable to our monitor speaker. Take a look at the speaker, it says unbalanced. An unbalanced connection means the signal goes on one wire and the outside conductor is a ground. Sometimes this type of connection can cause noise. A lot of professional audio equipment also supports a balanced TRS connection. TRS means tip, ring, and sleeve. The signal goes on two conductors and the outside is a ground compared to a TS which only has two connectors, which is unbalanced. If you're experiencing noise in your system, using a TRS connection will eliminate it. Here's an interesting scenario. I'd like to use these two monitor speakers and the headphones and a subwoofer and I want to adjust the volume separately for the monitor speakers and the subwoofer. Now how do we do that since we only have four channels? We're using three and four currently for the headphones. We need to have six channels. Turns out there happen to be two more channels here in the computer that we can use. I'm going to start by running channels 1 and 2 to the monitor speakers through the TRS cables. And then we will use channels 3 and 4 through unbalanced RCA cables to the subwoofer. And we'll plug the headphones directly into the computer using the computer's sound card. On your Mac, go to Applications, Utilities, Audio MIDI Setup, click the plus sign, Create an Aggregate Device, and you can make a new audio device out of your sound card plus the internal sound card if you select both of them. In Tractor Preferences Audio Setup, select the aggregate device. In the output routing, we now have six channels to work with. Let's set the first pair to the master, which is our monitor speakers. The second pair will be record, it gets the same signal. This will go to the subwoofer. And the last pair will go to the headphone jack in the computer and this will be our monitor channel. Now the channel 1 and 2 volume knob controls the volume of the speakers, the 3 and 4 is the subwoofer, and you can control the monitor, the headphone volume within the software. Alright, I hope that was helpful and remember to stay tuned for more tips and tricks and mappings as well on my website. Thank you.